In part 2 of unit 3 we're going to look at percent composition and empirical formulas. Percent composition of a compound is easy. Uh, to find the percent of each element that's present in that compound we just have to add up the total mass of the molecule and then divide the mass of each element that's present by the total mass and multiply by 100. So in this molecule right here Remember that each carbon atom has a mass of 12 AMU, hydrogen is 1, nitrogen is 14, and oxygen is 16. So our total mass would be 12 times 3, plus 5 from the hydrogen, plus 14 times 2 from the nitrogen, plus 16. So the total mass of that molecule is going to be 85 grams per mole. Now to find the percent for each element, we're going to divide the mass of each element that's present by 85. So for carbon, 12 times 3 is 36. We're going to divide 36 by 85 and multiply it by 100. That's going to give us 42.4% carbon. Let me clear this off and we'll do the others. Hydrogen, the total mass was only 5, divide that by 85, and multiply by 100. We should end up with 5.9% hydrogen. Nitrogen, we got two of them, 14 each, so that's 28 divided by 85 times 100. That's going to be equal to 32.9%. And the last one, oxygen, it was 16 grams because there's only one oxygen. Divide by 85 times 100, we should end up with 18.8% oxygen. A good way to check yourself when you do problems like this, they should add up to 100 or maybe 99.9 .9 or 100.1 depending on how you round. These are the steps to do the opposite of what we just did. This is going from the percentage of each element to the chemical formula. Pause the video, take a minute to write these down, and we'll do an example on the next page. So in this example we've got something that's 71.65% chlorine, 24.27% carbon, and 4.07% hydrogen. Our first step is to treat these percentages like grams and then we need to convert them to moles. So 71.65 grams of chlorine to convert that to moles, we're going to use the molar mass of chlorine. One mole of Cl has a mass of 35.5 grams. That should give us 2.02 .02 moles. Do that for the other two. 24.27 grams of carbon. We convert that to moles. One mole of carbon has a mass of 12 grams. So 24.27 divided by 12 is going to give us 2.02. .02. And then the last one, hydrogen, 4.07. One mole of hydrogen has a mass of one gram. forgot my grams up there. So that's going to give us 4.07 moles of hydrogen. Now at this step, we divide these numbers, the number of moles that we have, by the smallest of them. So we're going to divide by 2.02. .02. These two, it's going to be equal to 1 for chlorine and carbon. And this is going to be equal to 1.99, or we'll just round it up to 2 for hydrogen. So right now, the formula we think we have is CCLH2. Now let's see if that matches our molar mass that was given. We've got 12 plus 35.5 from the chlorine plus 2 from the hydrogen. The molar mass of this is 49.5 grams per mole. So what we need to do is multiply this entire formula by 2 so that our final answer let me get some space here. 
our final answer ends up being My bad, I didn't want to clear everything off there. Our final answer ends up being C2Cl2H4, and that's going to have the molar mass that matches the one uh, given in the problem. Your question for this unit, compound is 43.64% phosphorus and 56.36% oxygen. The molar mass of the compound is 283.88 grams per mole. Find the molecular formula. Type that into your answer box.